Genghis Khan was a legendary emperor who took brutal measures against women. He was a terrifying figure whose name itself scared the living hell out of his subjects. The vast Mongol Empire was under his control and he executed torturous punishments. Why did he target women? What were the severe punishments given to them? Genghis Khan knew that he would be powerful and would rule over the world because of the blood clot he had on one of his hands from his birth. As years passed by, Genghis Khan wanted to take revenge on the Tartar tribe for killing his father and making his family starve. He, along with his army, invaded the Tartar tribe and killed every single man of Tartar. Beijing was his chosen land to conquer. He and his army starved the people of Beijing for a long time. This pushed them to choose cannibalism and kill their loved ones to survive. He burned them alive and found joy in their death. His merciless behavior scared people and he was seen as an evil person. The soil of Beijing glistened with the fat of human beings and there existed a mountain of human bones. The place resembled hell and he was the Satan. His interest in women was the same as his interest toward conquering lands. He took beautiful women to Mongolia and held them captive. During all his conquest, he searched for exceptional beauties to take with him. The family members of such women were brutally tortured and killed. Genghis ordered his men to capture women to establish his power over the land. He believed that if he took these women, then he could establish power over the men. Most women led a life of concubine in Mongolia. They didn't have any freedom to even raise their voice. The fate of such women was tragic as they lost everything. European women were given preference as the men of Mongolia found them more attractive. They achieved high positions among the concubines and enjoyed certain privileges. Genghis Khan used to award warriors with captured women. The warriors raped and killed these women for fun. Genghis watched as the women were torn apart by his men. He laughed at their cries and appreciated his men. Some women killed themselves to avoid torturous death. Women who survived the rape were tied into the caravan and dragged down the streets. The men of Mongolia didn't want women who were raped by the warriors. They thought that she was of no use. They killed women in many ways with the permission of Genghis. Some warriors kidnapped beautiful European women and sold them for a high price. Some Mongolian men wanted to marry captured women. They could only proceed with the marriage with the consent of their wives. Those women who were rejected by the Mongolian men were burned alive. Captured women didn't have any purpose but to sexually satisfy the Mongolian men. These women lost all their possessions as they were stripped of all the jewelry they wore gifted by their husbands and fathers. They were not allowed to carry anything from their homeland. Their lives were miserable and confined to the four walls of harem. Even though Genghis Khan had four wives, he wanted to be intimate with more women. He was a womanizer and he held 7,000 concubines under his captive just for his sexual entertainment. He took care of the women in his harem. Unlike his warriors, he didn't torture his concubines. He wanted them to be clean and beautiful. He allowed them to have good food and took ample care of them. Some women prayed to be his concubine rather than being raped by the warriors. Women were made to stand on a stage at his camp at night where his warriors would be given a treat. He would then choose which woman he would give to warriors and which woman he would take to the harem. Most nights he will take multiple women and force them to have sex with them. He raped all the women who did not comply with his rules. Once he laid his eyes on a Chinese princess and he tried to rape her. But it was not like other times. The princess bravely fought against him and castrated him. His death symbolized the curse of all women he raped and killed. Genghis Khan treated women poorly and mercilessly. Mothers feared giving birth to daughters as their fate would be to the end of the hands of Genghis Khan. Beautiful women cursed at their beauty as they knew that they would be chosen ones to share a bed with the monster emperor. What do you think of Genghis Khan? Do you think his punishments were brutal? Let us know in the comments.